Hey there, Jet Boosters. Nelson here with the advanced pagination tutorial. Now, don't worry about the word advanced. That's just a word that JetBoost is using to give more functionality to your Webflow collection list in how they paginate, all right? In this video, I'll show you how easy it is to add the seamless pagination function to your Webflow collection lists, all right? So let's go to my screen and let me show you what Webflow has out of the box, all right? So just to give you some context. So if I click on my collection list, go to my element settings at the top right, then this setting right here, paginate items. If I turn that on, I can see five items per page and I have eight items. So if I go to the next page, I'll only have three, but this is the seamless pagination that uh, we are expecting. If I preview this and click on next and previous, it looks like that uh, seamless pagination we're looking for. However, if I publish this to my webflow.io URL, so let that run and there we go. Open it up in a new tab, scroll down and I click on next, watch what happens. Webflow loads up a completely new page uh, well, it's the same page, but brings you back to the top. And so I have to scroll down to see my uh, CMS items. If I click on previous, it does the same thing. So this is not really a seamless pagination function, but this JetBoost that we're going to install today is, it, it will do that for us. All right, so here we go. Let's go here and let's undo what we just did. So I'm gonna turn off pagination and yeah, we're good to go. So let's go to JetBoost, find our website. So I have JetBoost tutorials. I'm going to add booster, advanced pagination, create, and we're on to step one. Here we go. So pagination type, seamless. How many items per page? I wanna show, let's show four, four per page. And save current page to the URL. So what this means is you can have a link like this where it adds page equals three or whatever page you're on in the pagination. And you can send that through your social media channels to your friends or whatever, and they'll load up that exact uh, page in the uh, in the collection list. All right. So I would suggest, yeah, turn that on. I don't see anything wrong with leaving it on. All right. So press continue. And there we go, our first checkbox, yay! <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and copy the JetBoost script and then open up our code, custom code area in our project. Click, uh, I'll paste it in there into the head code, save changes, and we're going to publish. All right, so after it's published, we're going back to JetBoost and we're going to test and continue. There we go. Our second check, yay. All right, now we're going to copy our special class name, All right? So we're going to go to our JetBoost project and we're going to select our collection list wrapper, not the list, but the wrapper itself. All right, we're gonna go to the styles panel and paste that class into the selector, all right? So what this does is JetBoost's special JavaScript uh, code that you've added to your custom code area will look for this special class name. So when it finds that special class name, it says, okay, um, go ahead and start doing all the magical things that you want that was set by the jet booster. All right. So make sure not to change this name because that's what jet boost is looking for. All right. Now say you want to style your element, uh, but on a different class name, I would strongly suggest removing the special jet boost class name and naming your style whatever you want. So I don't know, whatever. And add your styles to that class. So I'm gonna add some padding. And then at the end, when I'm done styling it, that's when I lock it down with the JetBoost special class name, all right? All right, so what's next? Let's go ahead and publish this. 
and we're going to go to JetBoost. And for here, the test URL, since this is the home page, I don't have to add anything into this box. So I'm just going to press test and continue. And oops, I forgot, uh, forgot one more thing. I'm going to copy this right here and I need to add this custom code into the uh, blog post. All right. So inside of my CMS item, I'm going to press command E or control E and type in embed. All right. So in this embed, I'm going to paste that special code, save and close. And that's it. So I'm going to publish again and test it with JetBoost. Here we go. Yay, okay, now we got our checkbox. All right, our check mark. And now we gotta make our pagination buttons, the previous and next, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is go to my container, control E and type in button, which adds a button right here. I'm going to double click and call this previous and let's style this. I'm going to give it a selector name of pagination button and let me style this. Let's say the color is actually this blue and the hover state is white. All right. So there we go. And I'm going to take this button. I'm going to copy and paste it. So we have a next button. Cool. And now we need to add the special JetBoost class names to mark which one is previous and which one's next. So let's go ahead and go back to JetBoost. And here's our previous button class name. I'm going to paste that in as a combo class. And now I'm going to take my next class name and add that to my next button as a combo class. And now I'm going to publish. And we're done. So after that, go ahead and let JetBoost test it. Yay, confetti. <laughs> All right. And yeah, lastly, I'm going to double click this unnamed booster and call it seamless pagination. And click outside of the text box. Go to my staging site. And let's see it work next. Previous, next, previous. And that's it for this tutorial. Now have fun with your new JetBoost.